Hey you guys, welcome to the channel. <laughs> Kelly here from House of Virgo. It's going to be a little bit of a short reading tonight. Um, yep, if you're new, smash that like button and do subscribe. Personal reading link is in the description box below. Um, let's get into this. Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Today is, as I'm recording this, July 17th, so the last two weeks of July. Let's see what's showing up for you here. Hi, everybody in the chat. Welcome back. Okay. There's a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay. You're starting with strength. Wow, you got some power right now, Virgo, going on or going forward. This is Leo energy, feeling confident, strong, courageous. Um, I feel like you're um, getting up some courage to ask somebody a question. Trying to get maybe somebody to talk or to admit something in the next couple weeks. Yep, using some kind of gentle persuasion is what I'm hearing. A little sleight of hand. Um, okay, let's see. Something... I feel like somebody trying to get somebody to talk about something or admit something or confess something or open up and speak. I'm hearing, why won't you talk? So you're either trying to get somebody to talk to you or I, I just, you know, I just look at that. It's crazy. And I just feel like somebody's got like a frog in their throat and like they're not communicating they're not saying something like it, it I almost feel your energy is like say it damn it admit it or just say it okay oh yeah this is like either trying to get someone to confess that you want to know if either somebody's married or if they're already in a relationship or if there's somebody wants to be in a relationship okay that's interesting we have Taurus energy here let's see yeah right do you love me do you want me am i a blessing in your life do you want to be together or not so you might not actually be like reaching out to somebody and just like talk talk admit it say it but you could be but just kind of like maybe i feel like you're trying to massage someone's throat so they can just get that frog out of their throat and take a leap of faith here and admit something okay you know, do you, do you want, do you like chocolate or do you like vanilla? Like, like speak up. What do you want? What do you want? Okay. Yeah. All right. And the other person, hmm, the Ace of Pentacles. Well, the other person's like, I think you're really great. I think you're really awesome. And I, I like spending time with you in a real social kind of environment, you know? I want to, I like, uh, what is it? I like giving you gifts or I like, I like what you do for me. <laughs> I'm hearing. I like, um, I like looking at you. Oh, wow. Okay. That's, it's very surface here. Okay. It's like a very surface energy. Um, yes, I want some kind of opportunity. Yes. I would like to reunite or spend some time with you or go out and do things or date, um, but I'm kind of busy looking at my money, right? Now, just keep in mind, these roles could be reversed, okay? But I do feel like somebody does hold you in high regard, for sure. But it looks like you want something more, you know? Or at least there's a Virgo here who wants something a little bit more, okay? And I feel like, I feel like whoever your person is and you're trying to find out some truth, like if you're with someone and they haven't really tried to progress the relationship, then there's your answer. You know, they're probably not going to admit it, but I think they'll probably say to you that they like spending time with you. Um, occasionally social type of time with you. They, or they see you as a friend. They see you as a gift to their life. They hold you in high regard, but I don't see somebody here who really wants to be in a committed type of relate relationship right and that's okay you know i mean you're trying to find out I, I don't i don't think you need to keep you know kicking that dead horse i think 
there might be somebody here who's just not capable or they might just be very focused on their their money okay so that's like the first message that i was getting but we're going to move on to let's get into this message now okay let's see okay I'm seeing a Virgo here that's traveling by night. There's a night trip taking a red eye. Um, there's a Virgo here who is either going by boat, plane, car, walking, maybe running, moving quick, moving fast, making some kind of change to their life, okay? And also doing it in silence, right? There's, it's secretive. You're not letting anybody know. We're not letting everybody know, maybe some people, but you're making some kind of change and you're doing it quick. You're making a, you're making some kind of fast change or you will be trying to move on with something. Um, I, I'm just, I'm just feeling like a quickness. It's almost like an escape in some ways. Like maybe you're, you're leaving at night. I just keep, they're saying you're leaving at night. Virgo, tell Virgo or tell Virgo to go or to leave at night. Okay. So I don't know what that has to do with anything, but there's something here about leaving at night. Some of you are going to get some kind of reward for all your hard work and effort, your consistent effort. You're going to be called out. There's going to be some kind of like, you're, how can I say this? If you've been like working your butt off or you've just been, I don't know, whatever you've been doing putting in the effort, putting in the energy, you're going to get recognized for this. Okay, you're going to get, um, I just heard somebody's going to get a call also at night or early in the morning that you have been selected for some kind of honorary mention or some type of an award of some sort for all your effort you've been putting in it could be monetary but you're definitely going to be called out it's there's an announcement that's going to be made about you in regards to your work or your job even if you work at home you don't work for anybody if you just work on your own you work for yourself you're going to get something somehow somewhere someone's going to recognize the effort and the work that you put in and you're going to hear about it so it's either be through a phone call or you're going to get an email and they're going to say, give us a call. Um, there's some kind of an award, right? That's what I feel like. Yeah, definitely. They could be calling at work. It could be a boss or you'll get something, you know, in recognition. You'll receive something. Okay, definitely. Well, you're going to hear about it. And it's going to be out in the open. Something for your life work. For your life work that you've been doing. And uh, you may have had, or you may have uh, someone else up in line uh, who could also get this award, but you're going to receive it, I'm hearing. You're going to be chosen. You're the chosen one, Virgo. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm feeling, um, first thing they're telling me is, um, oh, okay, they're giving me a housewarming party or event, and they're also telling me um, some, something to do with teaching children or taking on an assistant. <coughs> so if you're a teacher in any form, in any way, professor, teacher, or working with the youth or younger people or young adults, um, there's a, an assistant that's coming in. I see an assistant. Uh, somebody here is 36 also, but I'm seeing like an assistant. Are you going to be sent somebody? I feel like this is a career work thing, but yeah, you're going to be sent some kind of an, ass some kind of assistance, right? Uh, like a, like a, like an aide or a mentor or someone that's going to show up and you're going to be training or you're going to be teaching them. Okay. Uh, some of you also have, I'm um, picking up like a child that's going to be coming back. 
um, home. No, so when I say child, I don't necessarily, it, it can be a little child. I'm also picking up like, um, like a sibling is going to be returning that you haven't seen, or it could be like a lost sibling um, that maybe you didn't know existed. I feel like you're going to find out about them. So your past is coming back for sure. Okay, your past is going to coming back either in the form of like anything that you've learned when you were younger. You're going to be uh, assisting, teaching others for things that you have learned in your ex the experience that you have, or someone that there was something about your youth is 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 coming back to you. Somebody finds something out, like there's a discovery as well, like a discovery gets made. Okay, they just said, yeah, a discovery. And as far as like the housewarming, I feel like there's, there's a gift going to an architect. I just heard that. There's a gift being given to an architect or a, a company or an engineer. Okay, now whether that's you or another person, yes. Okay, somebody's coming in from afar, Virgo. Somebody's coming in to visit you in the next couple of weeks. There might have been an invitation put out. That person's coming in, like coming to visit you. They're coming from a dry area, a very dry, arid area, or going to a dry, arid area. <coughs> They're giving me strong desert vibes. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. But I'm also hearing... Um, could be across the ocean but there's definitely going to be um i mean someone's coming in like like a very a very creative type of energy a visitor lusty as well yeah passionate and you may have sent something out to someone or they've reached out they're waiting to hear back from you they're ready to come in they want to come in so in the next couple of weeks expect a visitor um, and so when I give you like that lusty energy, um, <laughs> it's not a sibling. This is like a, this is like a passionate attraction that you have for someone or that someone has for you. Okay. This makes me feel like this is a distance. This is far away. This is looking out on the horizon here. Uh, this is expansion and travel. So it's like both travel energy. So it's, it's traveling from afar. Okay, next couple of weeks, yes, yeah, somebody's going to be coming in. You're going to hear something, or they're just going to show up. Surprise, okay. So you do have the hermit. All right, so that's your energy, Virgo. You're really reflecting on some things that were said to you. You're still reflecting on maybe trying to sort out what somebody meant. Somebody hurt you. Or will be saying something like uh, they're just nasty mouth. <laughs> um, and I see you kind of like wondering if, um, I don't know, if somebody's like very violent with their words, like the stuff they say. I see you even like reflecting and trying and trying to sort some things that are said to you but i also see you isolating from someone who's like that in the next couple weeks like keep into yourself you go in hermit mode i feel like your energy is like i don't want to talk to you don't bother me shoe fly don't bother me yeah that's that's kind of that energy i also feel um the next couple of weeks you'll be heavily contemplating about a surgery whether or not you should get a surgery if some if there's a a surgeon or a doctor that's competent to do something and, and whether or not you want to go forward with some type of surgery i feel like you're going to be weeding out looking for the best of the best for some procedure uh some kind of procedure doesn't have to be like you know it could be outpatient inpatient whatever it's some kind of procedure you're really giving it some thought this, these next two weeks. <clears throat> and also being careful. Uh, there's something here about some cosmetic surgery. And uh, really doing your research about who you want touching you. Your body or your face. Um, there might be someone that you find out about who 
you do some research and find out that they actually have done some pretty shoddy work. Yes. Uh, and so I don't know if this is advice. I, I can't imagine any Virgo wouldn't do the research anyway. But if you haven't, um, this might be your advice to like really go within and try to like trust your gut with anyone that wants to slice and dice for some kind of cosmetic or any kind of procedure. Okay, you have the world. Wow. Hmm. <clears throat> You're definitely starting a new chapter next couple of weeks. I see you. Something's going to change for you. Um, but in a very aesthetic way, it could be related to this, but something in a very aesthetic way is going to change. Some of you are traveling to visit um, a mother type figure, whether that's your own mother or it's someone that you know that is a mother. There's a change. Also, there's a pregnancy. There's also a change of life occurring within the next couple of weeks. So some of you are like in flow. Adios for some of you, if that hasn't happened for you already. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a shift as well in your hormones for the ladies. Okay, that's who I'm talking to. A shift in your hormones. Definitely a change. You're no longer, listen, some of you Virgos, it's like, I just cannot wear these clothes anymore. <laughs> I just can't go out like this anymore. It's, it's time for me to mature. <laughs> I'm going to start wearing gowns, <laughs> house brows. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a change. Um, there's also some travel, like I said. Uh, you're passing through in the next couple weeks some magnificent shifts here with the world. Uh, something's completing. You might wake up one day and be like, well, damn, Aunt Flo, she don't want to see me no more. Well, like, when did that happen, right? Okay, big shift. Uh, some of you are, I want to say, uh, starting a new creative project as well in the next couple weeks, you know, before the end of the month, starting some kind of new project, a creative project. And uh, you might be coming back from a trip in the next couple weeks and that you get inspired for that, or you go somewhere and you get inspired to create something new. And, and some of you, this is just like an in vitro kind of thing. You make a decision that could have some kind of connection to this as well. But well, some of you are just going to go ahead and, you know, raise a baby, have a baby on your own. That's a decision you might be making. Thinking highly in the next couple of weeks. doesn't mean the next couple of weeks you're going to have the baby. But you might, f if you've been doing that, you might find out that, yeah, you are pregnant. If you haven't been doing that, you know, but you're that one person that wants to, you are heading in that direction. Yes. It's a very positive energy. <clears throat> okay, you got the higher font. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, Virgo, I feel like you're really committed to yourself. In the next couple of weeks, it's all about you, baby. <laughs> it's all about you. It's all about feeling good, looking good, having money in the bank, stability. Um, this is pretty much, for me, like you're... You're looking at yourself as if like you are CEO Virgo Incorporated, you know, uh, this it's kind of like a boss energy the, the the how can I say this? The Hierophant can very much represent traditional things, traditional values. This is about self-respect, whatever your beliefs and values are. It's about being a bit conservative in a lot of ways, being conventional, um, conforming to expectations that you have of yourself I, I just kind of feel like you there's something they're giving me the word class something to do with class uh, you might be like I said we had that class teacher vibe you might be taking a job as a teacher you might be retiring and you're getting a nice pension you find out in the next couple of weeks about a pension that comes in that you know like, you're not super, super wealthy, but it, it, I do feel like you will have, like, there's plenty of money to live on. Like, you're okay. But enough so with the Nine of Pentacles, where I feel like you will be able to enjoy solo pleasures, have some luxuries, um, financial gains. But you also might be uh, younger and getting a really good job. 
or working for a company, uh, receiving a, a raise or um, getting a really good job, accepting an offer with a really good, stable type of uh, corporation or company of some sort where it's really good money. Like it's, it's really good money. And these messages are so random today. I just, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling the love thing. We're just kind of let that sit for a little bit and see what other, like, you know, other life stuff that's coming up. Okay. Hmm. You might find out that um, somebody in your circle has been doing some gossip and, and not very good gossip. Or you might have said some things and now you're grieving the fact that maybe something gets out or something gets told. It, it is what it is. Um, I do feel like there is somebody perhaps in your circle, not all of you, or just, I don't know, whatever your sphere of influence your circle is. I do feel like there might be somebody who is very immature, is either talking about you or they say something to you that's not nice, okay? And it leaves you kind of like, now you're not like broken down. I mean, you still have two cups here. It could be just someone that you thought you were close to or a friend or anybody, partnership. And eh, some three cups spilled. The three of cups does represent, you know, friendship. So it does kind of feel more like a friendship. Could be a young adult <coughs> or a friendship that... You thought maybe he was a really close friend. I mean, it's kind of a downer, but I feel like um, you might be a little bit like, wow, I don't know if you're shocked, but something kind of gets back to you, I feel like, in the next couple weeks, and you're just like, well, damn, that's not cool, you know, a little bit. So the Five of Cups can represent, like I said, loss, regret, grief, feeling abandoned or unloved. Um... Yeah, I kind of feel like it's going that way. I hate to say that. It's just somebody said, or it's just somebody, it's, if it's not gossip, someone tells you a straight up truth that was lacking in diplomacy, very candid. Um, I, I feel like you might say to yourself, you know, it's not that I don't need to hear the truth. I think that I like to hear the truth. I can handle the truth, but your delivery was really harsh. So it might make you feel like a little down. This is not this is not like deep deep depression i don't feel like that you know the three of swords would be more or less depression this feels more of less like shit that wasn't necessary yeah so just something to pay attention to going forward this week may not happen at all okay so you have justice hmm the high priestess one more because these are okay So I feel like there's something that you intuitively know um, that there's a truth that is actually going to come out in your favor. You're keeping something secret. You're hiding something. Not to be deceptive, but you're holding back is what I feel like in the next couple weeks. Somebody might ask you, like, how much money do you make? You're not saying anything. But there's this trusting that the truth will come out eventually you won't have so i'm hearing you don't have to say anything i'm hearing other people are going to see it other people are going to see the truth about something you don't have to say anything they're going to find out on their own and then when they come to tell you about this truth that they've come to to recognize all you're going to have to say yeah i know so whatever you're going through i mean it's all going to come back to you in a, in a positive way if you're dealing with something like the truth will come out Yeah, the truth is going to come out. That's what I feel like is going on here. And and yeah, I, I don't feel like this is going to be a win-win solution. And I just feel like maybe your advice is just don't say anything. Don't say anything. And even if you mention it, then leave it. Leave it alone. If you say something, just leave it alone. Because people, I feel like people are going to find out. If this has something to do with a court thing or a legal thing, um, 
it, whatever it is, it's going to go in your favor. That's what I'm hearing. It's going to work out in your favor. You have justice on your side. You you will receive justice for something. Whatever it might be. It could be a work thing, a, a romantic thing, um, a family thing, acquaintances, friends. Something that you know to be true. Just keep it to yourself, I'm hearing. Don't say anything. They're going to they're gonna find out. Person, place, or thing is going to find out. And then you're going to get vindication is what I'm hearing. You, you will be vindicated for something. So I don't know exactly what it is, but yes. Okay, you also have the King of Wands showing up here. By the way, this vindication, uh, it might also have something to do with um, a, an Earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. All right. So you got a fire sign thinking about you. Yes, you do. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You're on their mind. And I feel like... They're waiting for you. They're thinking about you and they're waiting for you. They're waiting for something from you. Or they're waiting for you. They're ready to go. They're just waiting for you. So whether this has to do with a romantic relationship or it has to do with money or investing or some kind of success or endeavor or project or something, there's a fire sign who's waiting. Either waiting to hear from you or they're waiting just for you to make up your mind. <laughs> they're wondering if you if you want to I'm uh, waiting for a contribution or they're waiting for you to could even be return your return a call or get back to them with about something just want to get yeah I was going to get another clarifying card so has to do with some kind of love offer a romantic proposal <laughs> it's emotional for sure either they want to know if um, you're interested or you like them yeah, or if you have romantic feelings for them or what. All right, I'm going to get a couple more cards. And then I'm just going to, yeah, we're going to chop it off pretty quick. Okay, so you have the Nine of Wands. All right, so I do see there's something here with you. I want to say there's a question. You're questioning something. Should I go, should I go back? You're questioning. Should I return to something? Or should I just let the wheels move forward? Because you look, you're looking back on something and you're like, boy, that was rough. That was a rough thing to go through. You might not even be contemplating of whether or not you should return. But I think you're looking back on a situation with a person, place, or thing that you've come through that seriously like, gave you a headache. Or it just this, the wound, it wounded you in some way. So you might be thinking about like, all right, I, I'm looking back at that and I'm like, wow, I can't believe I came through that. There is that energy. One last look. I feel like you're taking one last look back and then putting up those boundaries and being very persistent before you start moving forward. It, it, it's a tiny little bit about wondering if you should return, but it's mostly about if you do return. I don't even know. I feel like... All I keep seeing is like you're standing on the side of the street and you're watching this tornado tear through the town and you're on the sidelines like I feel bad for those people that are going through that because I just came through that and I'm so grateful that I am not in that. So like the Wheel of Fortune is sitting here and it's like, come on, get in the car. Let's get these wheels going. But I feel like you're mostly looking back on something like and seeing something in a real different way, you know, um, before you get in the car and go, right? It's in your favor to go forward for sure. And it's it, you're taking some kind of gamble in some way. <coughs> um taking some kind of like change but you th with this wheel of fortune this is also about time this is about time you might be looking back on like how much time you wasted in your life and now you're getting going you're not in a hurry but now you're really looking at how precious time is you're really taking a look at that 
Um, this is a turning point. Yeah, you're, you're definitely, the next couple weeks, major turning point for you. Big shifts and change all in your favor. Things are going to be very, very good. I am going to just get a couple of charms before I close out this reading because I know, you guys, I know. I can't not give you some charms at least, okay? So let me just do that. Sorry that it's so short. I mean, it's 30, 32 minutes, 30 minutes. Okay. So what do we have? Oh, look, your B is back again. Yeah, this is like take flight. You need to take flight. Yep. Something here, you know. There, I'm hearing there's something sweet about moving, um, getting yourself in a different place. It's going to be very sweet for you. Sweet like honey, that's the energy. Very, It's going to be a very sweet thing. But you haven't had a taste of it yet, so you're not going to know. Once you have a taste of the sweetness, then you that's when you want more of it. But you haven't had a taste of that sweetness yet. And you're not going to have a taste of that sweetness if you're too busy eating sour things. Do you know what I mean? You need to, I'm hearing you need to taste the sweetness, whatever that means. Okay. Some of you are going to actually, you're musicians, you're going to write a song called Honey, or there's a song being written for you called Honey, or was. Um, there's something, there's a connection to music, and more specifically, um, electric guitar, very specifically, an electric guitar. So maybe you play or another person or someone you you know connected to plays. Any more charms for Virgo? I'm sorry, I'm putting the one because I'm getting the same exact ones. I don't want to keep getting the same exact ones. Alright, that's interesting. You have a train. Oh, maybe you like that band. So there's a choo-choo train here locomotive for sure oh wasn't that a song locomotive i can't remember but there's something here about traveling by train somebody's going to be on a train going to visit someone or um yeah someone's on a train going to visit someone absolutely somebody's traveling by train it's very significant it could even just be like a um it's any train i don't they don't even this is steam engine <laughs> So maybe you lived somewhere where there's like a steam engine train, which would definitely be your reading. Look, and here's the chariot. So this is about a vehicle traveling, balancing things out, setting the destination. There's some travels really big with this reading, you guys. And I know it's, you know, that season where a lot of people are traveling, but I do feel mostly like it's either somebody's coming in by train to see you or you're going to visit someone by train for sure. But I do feel like there, there is some kind of connection um, to these steam engine or locomotive trains. Could be something connected to your childhood or you have a connection to someone that collects them or does something or you see one. You know, you don't see these out on the road <laughs> or out in, you know, everyday life. People generally have them in like a store or something. If you see one, it's a reminder about this reading. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave that here. I know it wasn't very long and it was a little bit different, but... I know you guys appreciate it. I actually wasn't going to do one tonight because I was, I've just been out in the sun and I'm super, super tired, but I didn't want to leave you with nothing. So, yep, that's where we're at with that. If you want to go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, go check that out because I am doing the other zodiac sign readings up there. So, yeah, thank you for being a part of the HOV gang and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Love ya. Bye.